What's going on guys? In today's video, we're going to be talking about five of the best neighborhoods for first time home buyers in the Winston-Salem area. Let's get into it. My name is Ramon Lomelli. I'm a local realtor and the team leader of the Smart Move Group brokered by eXp Realty here in Winston-Salem as well as all the surrounding areas. And I wanted to make this video today because it seems that a lot of the people that I get from the YouTube channel, thanks for reaching out by the way, uh, are either first time home buyers, sometimes I get investors and move up buyers, but I would say about 30, 40% of the people that reach out to me from this YouTube channel are first time home buyers. So I wanted to make a list specifically for them. Also, I wanted to remind you if you have any questions, comments, concerns, anything at all I can do to help, this is literally why I make these videos. I'm here to help. The number on the screen right now is my cell phone number. It comes directly to me. You'll get no one else. If you feel more comfortable texting, you can text me as well, or you can just reach out via email. My full contact information is in the about section of this video as well. Feel free to look down there. In the about section, you'll also find all my social media handles. So if you want to be friends on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, any of the others, uh, feel free to reach out to me on there. Also, I've been getting some positive feedback about that relocation guide. If you like it, it's free. It's in the about section. Uh, it tells you about the area neighborhoods, great places to eat, things to do, things to see while you're in Winston-Salem. So I did a lot of research for this video and when I'm looking for a first time home buyer neighborhood, I'm looking at things like obviously the price range, right? We don't want them to be too expensive. We're also looking at things that first time home buyers typically look for. So neighborhood, three bedrooms, two bath homes. So I went through the MLS and started researching these things uh, and I came up with a list of five neighborhoods that I believe if I were a first time home buyer, I would be looking at these neighborhoods. Number one, we're going to talk about Country Club Hills, which is one of the highly sought after zip codes inside of Winston-Salem. This neighborhood has no HOAs, so if you're not a fan of HOAs, this is going to be good for you. In this neighborhood, you do see a lot of brick ranches as well as some bungalows. Most of the homes in there are going to be three bedrooms, one and a half to two baths. Now, these homes were originally built in the 1950s, but there is some newer construction in there all the way into the early 2000s. And one thing I really liked about this neighborhood is that it's not odd to find an acre lot inside of this neighborhood. So once again, if you prefer having no HOA in a larger lot, this is definitely going to be a neighborhood that you don't want to miss out on. And one of the best features of this neighborhood, I believe, is the price range. In the last six months, homes in this neighborhood sold for about $199,000, so about $200,000, which is well below the average price point of a home in Winston-Salem. And by the way, guys, I am going to have a link to each one of these neighborhoods so that you can see what's currently available right now while you watch this video, uh, what's available in these neighborhoods. I'll also throw a link in there so you can see other homes that are in the Winston-Salem area that maybe didn't make this list or that are not in a neighborhood because these are exclusively neighborhoods that we're talking about today. All right, guys, next we're going to talk about Laurel Park. Laurel Park is in 27127, which I believe is one of the most convenient zip codes in Winston-Salem, at least for me. And the reason I say that is because you're off of 150 or also known as Peters Creek Parkway. And on Peters Creek Parkway, you can get to downtown Winston-Salem. You can get to Lexington, another big town nearby. And you essentially go over all the major highways through there. You also have tons of shopping and dining nearby, parks, a new Walmart, Lowe's, all kinds of stuff. So it makes getting in and out of Winston-Salem really easily and you really have everything you need nearby. In Laurel Park you'll find mostly three and four bedroom homes and these homes are usually built 1980s to 1990s so they're not extremely old or anything. You see a lot of traditional one and two story homes. I know a lot of my clients prefer two story homes. You're not going to get a ton of land usually here. Most of the lots are closer to 0 0.1 to 0 0.2 of an acre but every now and then you see one that's about half an acre. Uh, the good news is though that there's also no HOA in here so if you don't like HOAs you may want to look at Laurel Park Park as well. In the last six months, $232,000 was the average sold price of homes inside of Laurel Park. So once again, we're still in that range of Winston-Salem home price averages. Next, we're going to talk about Westbrook, and I really love this location. It's located in 27103, and it's right off of Jonestown Road. Now, if you're familiar with the area, Jonestown Road is very popular, and you would know that. Uh, Jonestown Road has some of the most popular neighborhoods up and down it. It goes all the way from Clemens, North Carolina, all the way to downtown Winston-Salem. So once again, very convenient. A lot of high highways. I will say though, it does get a lot of traffic, especially around five o'clock. So you may want to be careful if you don't like traffic. But other than that, you really can't go wrong with 27103. This is also going to be a good neighborhood if you like homes with a little bit of character because uh, these homes were built in the 1950s all the way up until the 1990s. I do find that this neighborhood also has a lot of character and the homes 
do too. So I really like that aspect if you like something a little bit different, not your traditional standard, you know, starter home. There's no HOA in here and mostly you're seeing three and four bedroom homes. So it's perfect if you need the three bedrooms plus a little office or a little, you know, loft or a little extra space to do something. You're gonna see a lot of brick ranch style homes in that neighborhood. But one of the cool things is if you like to have a little bit of room in your front and backyard, most of these homes are gonna have either 0.4 all the way to about an acre of land. So it's very convenient. And once again, the price range is really affordable. $225,000 was the average home price sold in the last six months inside of Westbrook. And we're gonna keep going with this list, but I just wanna remind you that if you're getting any kind of value out of this video, I would really appreciate it if you go down there, hit that like button, leave me a comment, but above all, subscribe. Those kinds of things really keep me motivated to keep pumping out these videos for you. Oh, and don't forget about that free relocation guide. Let's get back into it. If you're a fan of newer homes, you're gonna like the next two neighborhoods. Uh, right now, we're gonna talk about Hampton Hall. Once again, 27127. Hey, maybe I'm biased, but I love the zip code. I live there. You're kind of close to the country, but close enough to the city, especially where this neighborhood neighborhood is located off of Darwick Road. Uh, that area is really cool because uh, you have that mixture of like that farmland kind of still wooded areas. You got cow pastures, you got a lot of uh, you know, farming land, but you also are five minutes away from the city. So I really like it. I get to go home to the country, but you know, you're close enough to the city if you need anything. So one of the cool things about this neighborhood is the homes aren't old. They're 2008 to 2014. So you're going to have the most, you know, energy efficient windows, you know, a lot of the codes that they use for building in 2008 to 2014 are still the same codes we're using today. So as far as energy efficiency, safety, wiring, plumbing, it's all going to be identical. You're going to see mostly traditional two-story homes. There are some ones story homes in there as well but mostly you're talking about two-story homes and in this neighborhood once again we're talking about three to four bedroom homes uh, unfortunately though the lot sizes aren't that big 0.11 to 0.3 acres I mean I live on 0.3 of an acre as well and I mean we have a front yard and we have a backyard but we are in a neighborhood the homes are kind of close together so you're gonna get a little bit of that but that's not too bad because the average price sold in the last six months in this neighborhood is gonna be two hundred and thirty nine thousand uh, dollars so great price next we're gonna talk about Suds Meadow which is located in 27107. One of the cool things about Sedge Meadow is it's located almost in the middle between Kernersville and Winston-Salem. I mean, it's still a Winston-Salem address, but it's located between Winston-Salem and Kernersville. Those who are familiar with the area know that Kernersville is a very highly sought after suburb of Winston-Salem, so it's convenient to be close to it. In this neighborhood, you're actually gonna see a lot of brick, some vinyl, but a lot of brick homes, which are you know a little bit nicer looking. You're gonna see Cape Cods, you're gonna see split foyers, and you're gonna see your traditional two-story and one-story homes in here as well. These homes were built as early as 2000, but as late as 2021. I think they're still building there. Don't quote me on that, I'll have to double check. But yeah, 2000 to 2021, so you're not getting an old home. Unfortunately, or fortunately, depending on how you look at it, uh, there is an HOA in this neighborhood. It's about $75 a month, so it's not gonna break the bank, but if you're not a fan of HOAs in general, I can understand why you would skip this neighborhood. On the plus side, a lot of the homes in this neighborhood do have a basement, and the lot sizes aren't too bad, 0.19 to about 0.57, so you could get lucky and get half an acre in this neighborhood. $230,000 was the average home sold price in the last six months for this neighborhood. So once again, it's budget friendly. Before you leave, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps the channel. Check out all the helpful links I left for you in the about section. If you have a question, do not hesitate to reach out. You can call me, you can text me, you can email me. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I can't wait to see you in the next one.